New Zealand's favourite naturopath, Lani Lopez, is back and talking natural remedies for water retention. Hi, Lani. Hello. So tell me, water retention, what is it? What causes it? Okay, water retention is when you hold too much fluid in the body and you just feel very, very sluggish. There's so many causes, but the main ones are high blood pressure, diabetes, pregnancy, and you can tell when the foot sort of gets a little bit puffy or around the legs, bloating, oh, right. heart problems can cause it, and excessive salt and sugar in the diet. You can hold up to three kilos of fluid in your body before you even notice weight gain. Really? Mm. And that's fluid that you don't need to function, mm -hmm. excess fluid. That's right. So I know when you're pregnant you can get really puffy ankles and your shoes don't fit properly. That's right. Um, so, and how you can tell, it's yep. if you just press along your shin, please don't um, zoom in. Zoom our legs because you know, we I haven't have... shaved our legs properly today. <laughs> just keeping it real here, so you can't no zooming in here. So you okay. just press along your shin bone, yep. and if there's an indentation left, it means that you're probably holding fluid. So like you press into bread, right? And your fingerprint stays in there. That's what it looks like. Okay, so but you're great. There's no problem there. So mine's bouncing back, so it means I'm having enough water and everything, and everything's good. That's right. Okay, so what can we do to prevent it from happening then? If we're we're having too much fluid in our systems, should we drink more fluid or should we stop drinking? Definitely drink more fluid. You know bodybuilders yeah. and how they look so lean, they do that by cutting out sugar and cutting out salt. So they urinate everything out and they're lean as, so, and which is not something you want to do because it can harm the kidneys. Right. So gently we want to use things like uh, echinacea. I mean, we talk about that for immune system, yeah. but no one talks about it for water retention and it's very good for cleaning something called the lymphatic system. Have a taste of this one, this is kiwi herb. And it should taste like you've put a bumblebee in your mouth if it's the real stuff. Do I knock the whole lot back? Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Really good for the immune system and it will help you release that <laughs> Better fluid. <be>. Oh, okay. <laughs> right. And it, you probably can drink um, up to 15 cups of coffee or tea to act as a diuretic, but you really don't want to do that. It puts too much stress. Calendula tea, these are some calendula petals. <laughs> But you can also do um, this lymphatic massage and you can do it in the shower. And the lymph nodes are like sponges that look after our lymph system. And we're going to clear those lymph nodes or the sponges in our body. Okay. So do this. Didn't we used to do that at school when we were trying to make our, um, like armpit farts? Yeah, totally. So, so what, you just put your arm and then you just... That's right, because there's lots of nodes underneath your arms and then you want to press sort of around your solar plexus area. Okay. Oh my goodness. This and is, then you rub, better, you rub in your it? groin like this. Really? Yeah. Lani! Come it's, on. It's, it's not even 10 o'clock in the morning. Are you sure we want to be doing this? <laughs> These are where the lymph nodes are. So if you've got bloating right. and a lot of water retention, you know, holding yep. on your hips and your legs. So just in there. So just rub in sort of that and gap you do this between as your legs. Well. Okay. <laughs> okay. So we do all these things. You can do all these things in the shower. How long should you do them for? Oh, look. Um, two minutes, three minutes tops. And if you do it every day, you will notice a difference. Of course, you'll go to the toilet and pee a lot more, but it makes such a big difference to your water retention. So everything's going to be working a lot better then. That's right. Well, Lani, I can still taste that. That's, that's an unusual taste. Thank you so much. You're always so much fun, and you're so full of information as well. It's been a pleasure, as always. <laughs> I'm going to say something about massaging your groin, but I'm not. Lani's website, lanilopez.com, is where you go for all the information.